In the hidden world of bacteria, a fascinating battle unfolds between viruses called bacteriophages, phages, and the bacteria they aim to infect. Recent research conducted at Princeton University has shed light on this complex warfare, revealing how viruses employ two distinct strategies to replicate. Some viruses opt for a covert approach, remaining dormant within their host and replicating discreetly without causing harm. Others, however, choose a full-scale attack, bursting out of the host cell in a bid to infect more cells. This latter strategy can be a suicidal endeavor, as it results in the destruction of the very host cell the virus relies upon. Consequently, the timing of this shift from a chill mode to a kill mode is pivotal for the virus's survival. In a groundbreaking discovery made in 2019, Princeton biologist Bonnie Bassler and her former graduate student, Justin Silpe, stumbled upon a virus with a unique advantage. This virus could eavesdrop on communication between bacterial cells, intercepting a chemical signal known as the we have a quorum message. This process, called quorum sensing, enables bacteria to communicate when they reach a critical number. The implications of this discovery were tremendous. Bassler explains that the world is teeming with viruses that can intercept essential host information, although the full extent of these stimuli remains unknown. However, their research demonstrated that this eavesdropping mechanism is a widespread occurrence. Within the realm of bacteriophages, the strategies are not straightforward. Phages can infect a bacterium simultaneously, existing in a state of polylysogeny, wherein they coexist peacefully while the cell continues to replicate. This situation, though seemingly harmonious, is more akin to mutually assured destruction, awaiting a trigger to switch into kill mode. High-dose UV radiation, chemicals, and certain drugs can serve as such triggers. The Princeton team's research took an unexpected turn when Grace Johnson, a postdoctoral research associate, employed high-resolution imaging to observe individual bacterial cells infected with two phages. Upon activating a universal kill signal, the researchers were astonished to witness not one clear victor, but three subpopulations of bacteria, each responding differently to the phages. This revelation prompted the team to find a way to trigger only one of the two phages at a time. Silpe successfully identified the triggers, and when he exposed the cells to his specific cue, only the targeted phage replicated. This breakthrough experiment had never been achieved before and opened the door to manipulating and imaging the inner workings of phage warfare at the level of a single cell. Bassler emphasized the significance of this research, not just for observing a microscopic war of epic proportions but also for the insight it provides into the enigmatic world of viral genes. The discovery of phage genes responsible for the surprising chill-kill switch, dictating the outcome of phage-phage warfare, hints at the existence of even more exciting processes waiting to be uncovered. Phages, which spearheaded the molecular biology era seven decades ago, are experiencing a resurgence as potential therapies and repositories of evolutionary molecular tricks. This treasure trove of unexplored territory could hold the keys to new biological insights and groundbreaking medical innovations. Published in the prestigious journal Nature, this research marks the beginning of an enthralling journey into the story of eavesdropping viruses, with implications reverberating across the vast landscape of biology. The future promises to unveil even more fascinating mysteries in this intricate battle within ourselves.